Oh, this site is all too familiar. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. The stock tie rods on these GM trucks are terrible. They're like toothpicks. And I mean toothpicks compared to what I'm gonna show you guys in this video today. It's a set of PPE HD tie rods. And I'm also gonna talk about a previous before and after test that I did with these on a LMM Duramax, but it doesn't have to be for a diesel. So for all you 2,500, 3,500 HD truck owners, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so this is part number 15803 This will be for an 01 to a 2010, but I do offer on the website at truckmasterdiesel.com from an 01 to a 2023. So if you guys wanna pick one up, definitely do that. We provide not only tie rods, but air dog lift pumps, rear differential covers, not to mention powder coating of your choice, HSP products. This is what you'll be getting when you order this. So now that we have it out of the box here, this is what you're gonna get when you purchase this. You're gonna have a greasable Zerk here as well as a beefy ball joint. As a matter of fact, I run a set of these on my LBZ Duramax. I've had them on that truck for about seven years now and I have put that truck to the ringer. If you've been watching my other channel, you guys know, I've been pulling trailers, I off-roaded that thing and not to mention it sitting on a giant lift kit on a set of 22 by 14s on 35s. It's just a wild setup and I have never had an issue having to replace these. These tie rods have never failed me. So these forged PPE tie rods are 53% larger than your stock ones on your truck. I know that's a little overkill, but let's be honest, these trucks have a bad rap. So we do need to go a little overkill when it comes to the tie rods. Also, you'll get a set of instructions and most people throw these away and don't read them, but it's very important that once you go to install these, you have to make sure that you use Loctite on these screws. Let me show you really quick. These are your set screws right there. A lot of guys just throw these on there and they start complaining that they start having issues, it's because they don't put Loctite on there. They, once they set these tie rods in, into place, they gotta remove these, put Loctite on them, and then just run them right in. That's all you gotta do, and you'll be good. It's not a recommendation, it's a must. Take it to your local alignment shop, get it aligned. Of course, when you remove them, you wanna measure your stock tie rods from end to end. Just get them close enough, that way you can actually drive to the alignment shop. When it comes to sled pulling, dirt drags, or if you wanna do a sweet four-wheel drive boost launch and impress your friends, when you install a set of these bad boys, your front end won't be flopping around everywhere and you're not gonna embarrass yourself. That's kind of where I'm getting at as well. But more importantly, it's gonna keep you safe. Oh, there you guys have it. Now, I'm not saying that PPE tie rods are like the best out there, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, if you wanna spend a little more coin, you guys can get a set of kryptonite tie rods, which I have on my uh, wife's truck here. These things are massive. Let's see if we can get a shot of those. It's the uh, purple bar right there. They're pretty strong. They're called the death grip tie rods which I don't sell on the website. I'm thinking about becoming a dealer of kryptonite. And then I have a set of Rough Country tie rods as well. If you compare the pricing between the Rough Country tie rods, which by the way, I love them, between those and the PPE tie rods, I think these tie rods are only like 30 bucks more and they're a little more beefier. But here's another point. If you are running oversized wheels, lift kit, big rims and tires, this is like a must. You can't roll on those pencil thin tie rods. So this would be more or less our bulletproof way of making sure that those tie rods don't bend or break. This is like one of my top five must mods. Of course, my number one is an air dog lift pump. And if you own a diesel, definitely pick up an Edge CTS3 monitor. I do provide both of those on the website, but I would say my go-to top five must mods is definitely gonna be a set of HD tie rods. But I wanted to give you guys my quick little unboxing review on those. But that's it for this one. We'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned.